Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another Disney vlog, another Disney dining video. Today I'm in Disney's Hotel Cheyenne in Disneyland Paris. It's quite late. I say today, it's like 9 p.m. My friend and I, Izzy, are gonna go for dinner at the Chuck Wagons Cafe. So come along. So as you might be able to hear, there's some music playing here as well outside the Chuck Wagon Cafe here in Disney's Hotel Cheyenne. I can't figure out where it's from. It's quite loud music. It kind of sounds live. Not only just loud, but also live. But yeah, can't can't work it out. Also look at all the lovely pumpkin decorations everywhere. Anyway, this is the outside of the Chakwaga in the cafe, but I'm pretty sure the entrance is actually from the reception of the hotel. So that's where we're going to head. So we have now come to the main entrance of Hotel Cheyenne. And they've got all the Halloween decorations up around as well, which is very, very cute. This is the beautiful lobby of Hotel Cheyenne. And the Chuck Wagon Cafe is just, just over there. Basically, as soon as you enter, you'll see in front of you. They also serve breakfast here. So if you have breakfast at this hotel, you'll be eating at the Chuck Wagon Cafe. But we're obviously coming here specifically for dinner. Uh, normally, this dinner would be a buffet meal. But at the moment, of course, because of COVID, they're not doing self-service buffet. So it'll be a table at table, service at table. 38 euros for an adult um, you get a cold drink as well uh, so yeah you can also get some you know wines if you pay extra but let's go it looks like there's a tiny bit of a queue we do have a reservation though so we're just gonna have to wait until it's our turn obviously because we're staying at Hotel Cheyenne and this is in Hotel Cheyenne everything is very cowboy themed so you find loads of really old school looking uh, Wild West posters and uh, just decorations everywhere like that horse over there and even just a logo of Chuck Wagon's Cafe and some more posters here as well so if you're new to my channel my friend Izzy here is vegan so we're gonna also find out if they do anything vegan in this restaurant hopefully they do the menu says they have something vegan so we're gonna have to find out and see what is good Bonsoir. Merci. Bonsoir, monsieur. Deux personnes, s'il vous plaît. Uh, français, anglais. So this is the main dining area of this restaurant. Very cowboy-esque, as you can see. Loving the lights. Very busy and noisy as well. But there's a lot of space, so loads of tables and the fans at the top as well, again, very old school. So this is the bar area over here and all the chairs at the bar are basically saddles, which I find really cool because of the detailing. It's just awesome with the theming of the whole hotel and the restaurant. So we're at our table and firstly, how cute are these placemats? Adorable. I've got Woody, Izzy over here has got Jesse, looking cute. I think my boy over here looks the best, Hotel Cheyenne Bon Appetit. So obviously it's not a buffet anymore, at the moment anyway, temporarily. So basically what we need to do is they give us menus and you have to choose one from each um, area. So one entree as in one starter, one main course and then one dessert I presume. Or maybe you can have more than one, I don't know actually. But yeah, in terms of vegan, uh, there's only really one option which is chili, which sounds nice to be fair. Yeah, and then uh, entrees. There's a soup, but I'm not sure if that's vegan or vegetarian. I don't even know what I'm going to go for yet, to be fair. There's a salmon, cowboy platter sounds good, smoked chicken, smoked pork ribs. That's like a very cowboy-esque uh, meal. I don't know what I'm going to... I, I'm going to decide in a second and get back to you. So, we have ordered. Basically, what you need to do is you need to, like, um, basically, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tick? Is that the word, is he? <laughs> it is tick. The options that you want from like the starter, main course and dessert. For the starter, I decided to go for the salade de pommes de terre, which is like a potato salad. It's just arrived. It looks very good. I'm going to show it to you in more detail in a second. So this is what it looks like. There's some um, potatoes here, some chicken, some vegetables. It looks very good. Decent portion as well, so... Woody, I think, approved as well, but I'm going to wait until we find out what's happening with Izzy because <laughs> Izzy, bless her, she doesn't like making a uh, fuss, but I keep telling her it's not your fault. I, I mean, it is a intensive chase in this No, you might, wait, you might be allergic. What if you were allergic and you couldn't eat something? It's true. So, no, they're very, they're very, very, they are actually very, very nice here, like, they do try their best. It's Disney, just... Disney, give it, I'll give it to them, they always try it. They yeah. always try it. If the trying is there, but basically we couldn't figure out um, for the for is for a starter we couldn't figure out if the soup would be vegan or just vegetarian and then the, the, we decided for this one because it's a salad 
And then this has got some cheese in it. So they've just gone to check if they can ask the chef to make it without cheese. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. So let's try this lovely salad then before Izzy continues to laugh at me. Um, it looks very fresh. Something just fell behind me. So we've got some chicken and some potatoes. That's a big star as well. So the salad is definitely quite big and filling because of the fact that it's got chicken as well so I could easily survive with just this but I've got a lot more food to come in the future, in the very near future so may the Lord have mercy on me. Izzy's starter has arrived. It is very basic salad but it's presented nicely at least mm. so that's good. Yeah. A lovely server was basically like, yeah, the, all the kind of starters do have some cheese and dairy products in them, but what we can do is that we can give you the salad, but it's going to be very basic salad with no dressing, nothing, no cheese, just salad. And I was like, Izzy felt really bad, and I was like, no, 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 we, we'll have that. Just because it's nice to have your vegan friend be able to actually eat something with you as well, you know, have a starter with you. And also, what I want for this land Paris, and I think they've done really well in the past few years, they're slowly progressing, but I want them to keep going forward with having more and more vegan options and vegetarian options as well, but especially vegan options are quite limited still so Izzy's main course has arrived and it's some chili with some really nice looking rice that looks lovely and this is my plate I went for the cowboy plate baked potato some barbecue sauce I want to say some ribs a little bit of corn chicken sausage and a little skillet thing so bon appetit so my main course was pretty good I enjoyed it it wasn't like phenomenal it was good though, like it, especially if you like like um, a lot of meat and stuff, that kind of cowboy yes food, you're not going to be disappointed. Very good food, the chicken was pretty spicy, like my tongue is burning a little bit right now, so just beware. But it, it tasted nice, I enjoyed it, I ate basically the, most of it, apart from the potato, the potato was just a bit much, so I think I only ate a little bit of that, but it, was, it tasted nice, it did taste nice as well. Izzy, what did you think of your main course? Yeah, it was lovely, thank you. It was really good actually, I like a chili, so very good. I give it good, good rating. Our desserts have come now. I went for the, I think it was like a assortment of little muffins and stuff. They also had like a cheese platter, but this one, even Izzy, who's vegan, who's vegan, said this sounds like the best one. It looks cute. We've got a little mousse, I think, with a sheriff badge on it. A little mu uh, cupcake. I'm not sure what kind of cake that is. And then another woody type thing. It looks adorable. And then Izzy's got a little plate of fruits uh, with some biscuits uh, thingies on the side, which. Those won't be vegan, as Izzy said, so she'll probably not have them. Obviously, won't have them. You won't have them, will you? <laughs> Sadly. But you know, fresh fruit is always nice. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat these now. So it is about 10 minutes past 11 p.m. Our reservation was for about 9 p.m. So we've been here for about two hours. We chatted a lot, like oh, a lot of chatting. That's why I feel like I've actually even lost my voice. But yeah, the meal was was good. I feel like for the price, it's good definitely not one of the best meals that you can get here but bear in mind that it's also not a buffet at the moment normally it would be a buffet but I think especially if you're staying at Hotel Cheyenne it's a good option for one of your dinners maybe because it's easy it's around the corner I definitely wouldn't like book to come and eat at Chuck Wagons Cafe if you're not staying at Hotel Cheyenne already it's not the kind of restaurant that you like want to go to like try you know make the effort to like get a bus to go to it or walk to it none of that I just would not do that but if you're staying at the Hotel Cheyenne it's a nice option because they don't unfortunately have like any quick services at any of the Disneyland Paris hotels. Maybe one day they will. But yeah, all Disneyland Paris hotels just have sit down restaurants and sometimes people want to know what it's like. And I think I would recommend it if you're staying here, like I said. Or even if you're staying at Santa Fe. In fact, I do have actually a video review of um, when I ate at the Santa Fe's restaurant. I think it's called, I oh, can't remember what that one's called actually. But I'll leave the link down below. But they have a buffet and restaurant there as well. So if you want to check out that one, see if you might prefer the food there. Check out the video below. But yeah, all in all, it was decent food. Very good company. Loads of laughs, loads of chatting, therapy <laughs> in some ways. Um, and I enjoyed it. I had a good night. Thank you so much for watching though. Let me know if you've ever eaten here at Chuck Wagons Cafe or if you would ever want to come here. Follow me on Instagram for more content and make sure to subscribe as well because I do post videos on a regular basis. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.